guys, Tony here, and this is the Ultimia Thor T60, one of the most incredible laser TVs I've ever reviewed, with an incredible contrast ratio of 4000 to 1, and also has built-in support for Dolby Vision, which is a huge plus considering how most new content has tone mapping for Dolby Vision displays. The Thor T60 is going to be available on Kickstarter from the 26th of September 2023, and I'll go over all of the details in this video, where I'll cover off the brightness, the contrast, Dolby Vision, and Dolby Atmos support, as well as the tricolor laser engine and all of the new technology built into it, giving real world examples and demos as I go. Now would be a great time to hit the like button and subscribe to see more home theater related content. So let's get into the video. Installing the laser TV was very simple. I simply set it on top of my speaker as I'd removed my TV unit so that I could get the height right and I ended up keystoning it in a little so that I could get the edges all lined up. If you were having this in your setup permanently, you would spend the time to get it in perfect so that you could avoid keystone, but for the purposes of this video, it was perfectly fine. There is the option for 8 point keystone correction, personally I just prefer the 4 points, but it worked out fine. There are then the focus controls to help with getting the focus uniformity on point from both the top and the bottom, as well as vertically, which I found very easy to get right. There's quite a bit to unpack with this laser TV, as right away when I installed it in my setup, I decided that I was going to treat it like I would a TV, meaning that I wouldn't be using my external speaker system, and I would rely on the full experience from the Thor T60 for both the audio and the video. I am using a 120 inch ALR screen specially designed for use with a laser TV, and the first thing I noticed right away was how incredibly bright the image was. With a motto, born bright beyond daylight, it was pretty easy to see that the 4000 ANSI lumens rating certainly didn't disappoint. Bright MX builds upon the HCTC 3.0 light engine, which allows for a wider coverage of the BT2020 color space of over 120% while still using the DLP 0.47 inch DMD, having the tricolor and the multiple laser light engine means getting 30% more brightness by eliminating the need for a color wheel. Building on this technology is a process called Range MX, which increases the color accuracy and makes the image closer to what the human eye sees. I know that this all sounds very technical, but it's an important distinction between this laser TV and others on the market. I really can't say enough how bright the image is. As you will see from the demos, the big thing that I noticed right away was the contrast. Ultimia provided me with a measurement of 4000 to 1 FOFO contrast, which is a measurement taken on a pure white screen from fully on to fully off. And again, looking at the demos, you can see that there is a very wide range of color as well as depth and detail in the image. I wasn't expecting it to be as vibrant or as deep, especially in the darker areas of the image. I initially had to turn the brightness down a little to make the image look more natural, which is great because usually brightness is what needs to be turned up at the expense of contrast. But with Dolby Vision tone mapping and HDR10, both produced a great looking image. In terms of options for the image, there are several preset options you can choose from to your liking, such as standard mode, movie, gaming, sports, energy saving, as well as a fully custom user mode where you can use a calibration sensor to measure the colors and the grayscale for your room and screen. I really like the vivid mode on HDR10 with the middle gamma option. The black levels and contrast really popped out and gave an amazing movie watching experience. At some parts of the demos, it felt like I was watching a television, the contrast was so deep. There are options for noise reduction, sharpness, and also adjusting the screen aspect, but I kept it on auto. There are a number of other options you can tweak as well for ALLM, which is for low latency gaming mode, if you wanted to do some casual gaming. There is also MEMC support for slower refresh rate movies, and the AI engine developed by Ultimia, allowing for smooth playback. Personally, I like to set it to low to avoid the soap opera effect. When it comes to rainbow effect, I didn't notice any. However, my camera did pick up some color fringing at times. However, this is due to my camera refresh rate being slightly out of phase with the screen. I can assure you that there is none visible in person. And once I had the image settings dialed in, I was able to leave the settings as is and enjoy. 
I was really excited to see that this laser TV had built-in decoding support for Dolby Vision, and it's great to see more manufacturers working hard to bring this support into their products. There is an option to set the screen size and gain, which helps the processor determine the best light settings. When I went into a movie that supported Dolby Vision, it was evident right away how much better the image looked over the standard HDR10 tone mapping. The examples shown here are being played on my Zidu Z9X Pro, which are disc rips I have made and stored on my NAS, so you are seeing disc level quality playback with full support for Dolby Vision. With the logo popping up as well, you know it's a display-led Dolby Vision output. HDR10 is also quite stunning, as you can see from Passengers, which is one of my favorite movies to demo for HDR10, the black levels and the color reproduction is pretty incredible. Dolby Vision is becoming more and more popular with movie makers, with most movies coming out now with Dolby Vision tone mapping, and as streaming services like Netflix and Disney Plus also like to have their original series color graded with Dolby Vision, it is great to be able to enjoy a high fidelity viewing on something like the Ultimia 4T60. One thing that really surprised me was the decoding support for Dolby Atmos. As someone who has a multi-channel speaker set up with overhead speakers for Dolby Atmos object-based sound, having it come from a projector with only two speakers is going to be a difficult task. What I will say is that the Thor T60 has two 15 watt speakers built in and they are quite capable of replacing your TV speakers and I was able to enjoy movies using just the built in sound, however in my opinion there is no replacement for discrete speakers. There are a number of options to allow you to tweak the built-in sound to your liking. The Thor T60 has Android TV OS, so you can get the most popular streaming services. However, of note, it is missing Disney Plus and Netflix. However, this could be added later. You can use Chromecast to beam your shows directly to the Thor T60. However, I would recommend that if you're going to spend the money on something like this, investing in a media player is highly advisable so that you can get the most out of the experience. The Thor T60 has support for 3D movies, which I was able to test out. I've said it before that I'm not a huge fan of 3D, but I did test it out and it works perfectly. You have different options for side by side or top and bottom, which is helpful depending on the movie you choose to watch. So if you're a 3D movie lover, this laser TV could be perfect, especially in a movie like Avatar, it was incredibly vivid and vibrant. Ultimia will also have an option for 3D glasses during the Kickstarter campaign. So what are the key takeaways I found from my time with the Thor T60? First of all, it's super bright. With a 4000 ANSI lumens rating, as well as a 4000 to 1 contrast ratio, it is without a doubt one of the most deep and bright images I've experienced on a laser TV. Second of all are the colors and how vivid and vibrant they are. Almost too vibrant, but that's a great problem to have as it can be fine-tuned to your liking in the color settings. Another great feature is that there is a low noise floor with the Thor T60 and a great safety feature for eye protection to cut the light source if you accidentally step in front of the lens. I think if you wanted a huge screen like 120 inches, this could easily be a replacement for a television. Paired with an ALR screen, and increase brightness from the light engine, you could use this during the day and at night so that you could enjoy a cinematic experience. For me, pairing this with an external speaker system and media player, you would have a winning combination. So I will leave a link down in the description to the Zidu Z9X Pro if you're interested. Ultimia will also have two soundbar add-on options on Kickstarter with a 5.1 soundbar with Dolby Atmos as well as a 7.1.4 soundbar with Dolby Atmos. So the expected release date will be the 26th of September 2023 with a retail price coming in at $5,999 US. There will however be a super limited early bird rate of $3,799 which is 37% off as well as an early bird rate of $3,999. These prices are subject to change so make sure you check the links in the description to see the current pricing. There is also a floor raising projector screen available to buy which you could pair with the Thor T60 with both 100 inch and 120 inch options coming in at $1,999 and $2,399 respectively. 
so make sure you check the links in the description to the Kickstarter campaign. I'd like to thank Ultimia for sending me the Thor T60, and one of the best parts about having a YouTube channel in this space is getting access to seeing the latest innovations coming through. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button and consider subscribing to see my future home theater related videos. If you'd like to support the channel, there is a join button down below, as well as links to my Discord server where you can join a growing community of like-minded home theater enthusiasts. A very big thank you for watching, but that's it for this one. You'll catch me in the next one. Bye for now.